every Rust player has this question on their mind and it's what gun is the best gun in the game? Now there's so many different guns and there's so many varieties of engagements in Rust that naming out one gun specifically is kind of hard to do. You will need an assault rifle on some occasions and other custom SMG or the pump shotgun. So in that regard, it's hard to ask that kind of question. But what if I told you there are two different factors we need to calculate here and it's one, the DPS and two, the materials used to make it, if you can make it. I'm gonna be asking and answering that question today. What is the most efficient and best all around gun in the game? So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna be covering things from all the way down to the revolver and water pipe, all the way up to the tier three items like the LR, the AK, and the bolt action. And we're gonna be starting off with the water pipe. Now the water pipe does boast a significant 180 damage per shot with a 40 damage per second with a headshot of around 225 and has a magazine size of one. So in that regard, it's it's only got one shot before I gotta reload. You might wanna have a couple of them strapped on you. Not a very reliable weapon in open combat, however, is, is really handy in a scrap. So in that regard, it's a good gun. I'd also like to point out the double barrel has the same damage, but it has two rounds with a slightly longer reload. So around 180 damage with 60 DP as well as a 225 headshot damage with two shells obviously because it's a double barrel. Then we move on the revolver which has a 35 damage single shot rating as well as a 61 DPS with 70 headshot damage with, with eight bullets in the clip. Now we're gonna move on to some of the lower to mid tier items such as the semi-automatic pistol, which has around 40 damage per shot with a 94 DPS rating, as well as an 80 damage headshot with 10 rounds in the magazine. It's a more comfortable amount of ammunition. Then we'll move on to things like the semi-automatic rifle with the also 40 damage per shot, 91 DPS, and an 80 damage headshot with 16 rounds, making it one of the more reliable low to mid tier items. We also have the custom SMG with 30 damage per shot, 114 DPS, 60 headshot damage, and 24 rounds in the clip. You will burn through this really quickly. It shoots very fast, but it's a pretty reliable weapon. You also have the Thompson with a 37 damage per shot with a 116 DPS, two higher than the custom SMG with 74 headshot damage instead of 60 as well as the 20 round clip now this is shorthanded by the fact that it has a 20 round clip as to its other counterpart the mp5a4 which has a 35 damage per shot two lower than the thompson but makes up for a dps with 152 as well as a 70 damage headshot and 30 rounds of the clip making it the biggest clip mag smg in the game this is a very reliable gun and it has a decent headshot accuracy now let's move on to the shotguns here not many to choose from from. We have the pump shotgun and the Spaz 12 for the high tier. I say high tier in quotes because not a lot of people use shotguns unless they're rating, but 180 damage from the pump shotgun per shot, as well as a 98 DPS, a 225 headshot, and six rounds in the clip. Now, don't have that fool you. you having such a high DPS such as 98 is pretty good for a pump shotgun with a really high alpha damage, but you do have to cock it between each round, so it kind of slows down that. The Spaz 12, you can spam quite a bit, but it only has 170 alpha damage with 94 DPS as well as 146.25 very specific headshot damage with also six rounds in the gun. Now I'm going to move on to more of a higher tier revolver here. I forgot to mention the Python, which is such an efficient weapon, 55 damage per shot, 110 headshot, as well as a 73 DPS with six rounds in the clip. This is a great weapon to use if you're solo shooting. It is not great to be spamming unless you're in a really, really close situation. In that regard, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent weapon. Then we'll move on to the high tier rifles. Of course, you've got the assault rifle or the AK with a 50 alpha damage per shot with a 181 damage per second, 100 headshot damage, which is really, really, really high, and a 30 round magazine clip as well as the LR300 assault rifle with 40 damage per shot, a 160, so 21 lower DPS, 
as well as a 80 headshot damage and boasts the same 30 round magazine. Then obviously we have the bolt action sniper rifle. Now this one, don't get fooled here, 80 alpha damage per shot. The 32 DPS, relatively low because it's a sniper rifle, 160 headshot damage and four rounds in the magazine. Now again, that gun is really effective for sniping from longer ranges, but not a very good close up weapon. We also have the M39 rifle. This is a semi-automatic rifle comparatively to the EBR with the DPS the standard 5.56 ammunition of 50 damage per shot as well as a 142 DPS times two headshot multiplier so 100 damage per shot and has a decent velocity. The L96 rifle boasts the same alpha damage of 80 and has around 30 DPS with a times two multiplier for headshots making 160 and a velocity that boasts 11.25. Speaking of unobtainable weapons through normal means, the M92 pistol, this is an absolute beast of a gun. With its standard ammunition dealing a potent 45 damage per shot with 157 DPS with a times 2 headshot multiplier making it 90 damage per headshot as well as a relatively good velocity. But the reason why this gun is so great is because of how many rounds you can shoot off per minute, 400 RPM and it has almost no recoil making it one of the most potent if not the most potent pistol of all time. And then we get the cream of the crop, the M249. Standard 5.56 rounds, 65 damage with a 3.35 damage per second with a 130 headshot damage and a decent velocity making it the most potent gun in the game. Very hard to get, but it is well worth it if you do get it. So when calculating this out for the weapons and how easy they are to obtain, there were three options I was sure about. So I kind of narrowed it down to the workbench level two because the two to three workbench is a very big uphill climb. I, scrap grinding is absolutely insane, but that's why the level two is a lot more obtainable for the normal player. So there are three options here that I see as the most effective. Now, number one, the custom SMG. Now the custom SMG, unlike a lot of other guns, does not require any wood. It only requires eight high quality, one SMG body, and one metal spring. Now on paper, it is definitely not as good as the Thompson, but it is cheaper because it doesn't need wood or 10 high quality as opposed to the Thompson. We then have the Python, 10 high quality metal, three metal pipes and one metal spring. This guy does not need a semi-automatic body like you'd need for the semi-automatic pistol or the rifle. However, it is using pipes, which pipes are not really hard to come by, but they're very much needed for rocket launchers and rockets later. So you might want to start saving up as soon as possible for those. And so I'm not sure how much I feel about the Python revolver being the number one spot but it does get a good second for it not needing any bodies whatsoever but finally i want to say that the most effective gun in the game and i do say this wholeheartedly i do believe in this fully is the thompson now the thompson maybe a lot of you may say the 20 round magazine holds you back and i do agree it is not the greatest in that regard however its alpha damage per shot is 37 its dps is slightly higher than the custom smg its headshot is 14 higher per round on the enemy player with 74 over the custom smg and 60 and i would argue that the python revolver is more potent in that regard however the thompson is a better all-around weapon in close and mid-range engagements while the python although spammable is not the most reliable only due to the fact that you need pipes and you want to be saving pipes for raiding so that's my pick thompson all the way with only 100 wood 10 high quality and one metal spring and one smg body that's my list thank you for watching i know this was a long video but i needed to break down some of the better guns in the game or all the guns in the game and any of you guys that comment the eoka pistol is the most overpowered gun in the game i will say you're 100 correct eoka pistols are the most overpowered in the game we need to get rid of them now Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It took me some time to actually research all this stuff and even longer to record it. So I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Flash over mid -wall. Are they flashing? Turn the Oh my God.